Today I'm here with Food & Wine to show you one of my favorite dessert combos, banana rum ice cream with cheddar cracker cones. I promise you that this will not only please the kids, but also entertain and pass the day to the adults at your dinner party. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Dorsey. I'm a professional chef, writer, and the founder of a nonprofit community think tank called Studio Atau. So first, we're gonna make our cones. I'm going to use some goldfish. You can use any cheddar cracker that you like. I just really like goldfish. Essentially, instead of flour, we're using goldfish. So you want them nice and fine so we can make a nice, even batter for our waffle cones. So in our KitchenAid, we are outfitted with the paddle attachment and we're gonna crack two of our eggs in and some sugar. It's always good to use unsalted butter when you are baking so that you can control the salt content of what you're making. And then some whole milk. And in goes our cheddar crackers. We're just gonna cream that until it's well mixed and fluffy. Now that we have our cheddar cracker cone batter. It smells great, it smells like sweet cheddar cheese. We are going to heat up a little waffle maker and make our waffle cones. Remember when making waffle cones, you don't need that much batter. It's going to spread out and get squished. So just a little bit per cone is good. If you don't have a waffle cone maker, do not fear. You can also use this batter on a skillet. Just make sure you have a nice thin layer and you get a nice even sear on both sides. Kind of like a little crepe. Smells like these are ready. Look how nice and golden brown. And now this is the hardest part. You have to remove these quickly while they're still hot. Sometimes they kind of fuse together, so that's fine. And then you're going to want to cut them out and roll them on your little cone. If you're struggling to get the shape that you want, again, do not fear, you can just serve them flat and they're very cute and they taste great. And now for our ice cream. We are going to make a nice, thick, egg yolk based ice cream as well as some sugar and we're gonna do some milk and heavy cream. So first we're gonna whisk together our sugar and our egg yolks just so that they're combined. So we're just gonna gently heat the cream as well as the milk together. We are not scalding either thing. To make this easier to temper, we're gonna first add in just like a ladle full of the milk and cream so that we don't scramble our eggs. Two more ladles and then transfer the entire thing into our pot. Once you get this back into the pot, you want this at a very gentle heat and you want to be whisking constantly so that it doesn't have a chance to break. This is always a challenging step because it goes from liquid and to custard very fast, so you've got to keep an eye on it. This makes just about one quart and you'll just want to make sure to chill this before we spin it. At this point, we can also very carefully add our banana extra. So as our ice cream base is cooling, we are going to cook our bananas with some rum. So this is a classic combination, always tastes really good together. If you don't want to use alcohol, of course you can omit it and do a different flavor or you can just caramelize your bananas with a little bit of extra sugar. What we're really looking here is like that deep toasty notes of banana and rum to marry together and contrast those salty kind of sharper notes of the cheddar. This is also a great way to use up your slightly splotchy bananas that otherwise you might be like, I'm not in the mood for banana bread again. And you're gonna heat them up in a little pan, a little bit of oil, and get the surface caramelized and toasty. Please make sure to turn down your heat and turn on your fan in case there is a ignition. So this looks pretty good. It'll continue reducing a little bit off the heat. So now that our ice cream base has chilled, it is nice and cool. Our bananas are nice and cool. And we've got a little extra rum as well. So we are ready to churn. So I'm gonna get this started. Add in a little bit of rum. And 
as it's churning, I'm gonna add in our bananas, little by little. Our ice cream is done. It is nice and cold and churned. And you'll notice that when you first turn ice cream, it is super soft. You want to put this into like a small container and put it in the freezer so that it hardens a little bit. It's maybe just like an hour or two. It doesn't take that long. It also depends on how, how cold your freezer is set to. Ice cream for ideal mouthfeel, you probably want it around zero. So now that our ice cream has hardened, I'm just gonna do some scooping so that we can fill our little cheddar cracker cones. Key to a good scoop is a good scooper mechanism, one, but also you want to really dig into your ice cream. So now that we have our little scoops, we are ready to plate. I think we can do two. I think we can do two. Boom. Look how cute they are. So now that we have our very tiny, very cute ice cream cone with two tiny scoops of ice cream, I feel like we're making little ice cream cones for mice, we can enjoy them. So let's go for a taste test. So good. A lot of banana, and then you hit the little banana pieces, and then you hit the salty, and you're ready for more sweet. It's like very, it's a, it's a nice cascading effect of salty and sweet. So I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think of this creation in the comments below. And there are also two more videos with a similar theme of strangely delicious, unique combinations. One is lemon verbena octopus terrine, and the other is spot prawns with a morel and white chocolate sauce. Make sure to subscribe and check out those videos too. Hopefully, I'll see you next time.